St. Louis Media Library Foundation actively preserves the radio, television, advertising, and print history of our city. Here with us today from the St. Louis Media History Foundation is Carrie Manderbach. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you. Great to be here. Welcome back to STL TV. I know you've been here many times over the years, so yes. um, a fixture in the, the media world here, here in St. Louis. So tell us about the Media History Museum. A lot of people don't even know it exists. Well, the St. Louis Media History Foundation is a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to the preservation of local media history. Now, what that means is we seek to preserve, for example, print media, which can be newspapers, uh, locally produced magazines, and other publications produced here in St. Louis, broadcasting, which can be uh, radio air checks. An air check is simply a recording off the air. Uh, television air checks and, and such. Also we include public, or, uh, public relations and advertising as well because we have several world-class advertising uh, companies here that have done stuff that you've probably heard of the Energizer Bunny and things like that. So. Right, okay so how far back in time are, is the collection? Uh, as far as print, it can go back into the 1800s. Uh, we have stuff from the 1850s, for example, uh, advertising, uh, leaflets and flyers and things like that, magazines that were published back then. Uh, for broadcasting, of course, the electronic media is much newer, so we go back to maybe the 1930s for that. Okay. So, so why do you think it's important for a city to have this kind of a collection? Well, basically, uh, it sort of gives you a feel for the culture that existed at any particular era in, in time. So, for example, right now um, we have certain uh, radio station DJs, certain morning shows, we have certain news anchors on television, we have certain magazines that are being published and certain stories in the newspaper. Ten or twenty years from now that might all change and some people might forget it, some will remember it and want to refresh themselves on what, uh, what had been before. Uh, and then also it's important because of research, sometimes uh, uh, we might need to know what society was like at a certain time so we can make sense of how things got to be a certain way. So almost like an anthropological or cultural study over time. Yes. Brief history. I mean, if you think of 130 years or so is not really that long in the whole history of time, but just from a media standpoint, you do cover a lot of bases there. We try to, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is it such that people can um, come in and have access to the collection if they're doing um, uh, a study or report or something like that, that they would uh, want to have this information? Absolutely. We do house a research center, which our archives allows us to do because we have several uh, basically newspaper clippings. We've got following cabinets full of information, for example. Uh, we also have a computer system where people can actually access digital files, such as those air checks I was talking about, mm -hmm. uh, the television air checks, and some other uh, digital media. Uh, basically, people can come in and do papers if they're doing school papers. Even if they're writing a book, uh, there, there was a fellow that wrote a book on um, local kid show uh, uh, characters, for, for example, and hosts. And um, he had to do research on all of the various uh, kid show hosts in all the various cities. And in St. Louis, we had certain hosts, uh, Corky the Clown, that was played by Cliff St. James, mm -hmm. uh, Cookie, who was played by Jim Bolin. Uh, we had Mr. Willoughby. We had Mr. Patches, played by Jack Miller on Channel 30. Right. Uh, so if you were going to do a book like that, you, you could come in and do that research and find out that information. Wow, that's fascinating. How long have you guys been around? Well, the, uh, the media archives have been around at least since 1987. The foundation is newer. We've become a nonprofit in the last uh, several years. Yeah, so. fascinating. Okay, we're going to take a short break, but we'll have more with the St. Louis Media History Foundation after this break. Please stay with us for more STLive.